So, Corey, one of the things we've been talking about a lot lately, and uh, I think the folks out there watching are going to start hearing us talk about more uh, coming up, is um, the whole concept of musical journey. And that all of us who play an instrument are on some sort of musical journey, whether, whether we're just starting that journey, we're somewhere in the middle, towards the end. We're all in different places, but we're all on a journey. And um, our journey took us to uh, Paul Reed Smith Guitar Factory a couple weeks ago. Yes, it did. The first time we've been able to get to a factory, visit with the folks that uh, actually build the instruments, and uh, you know, not just our sales reps that we talk to very regularly, uh, but getting to, to be on the floor and see production going on uh, really raised my spirits and made me think about that musical journey. It's, um, that's one of the things that we bring to the table here at More Music and More Guitars is that we have, we've, we've, the brands that we carry, we carry for several reasons. But first and foremost is because we, we know the people that are building these instruments. We've been to the factories. We've shook the hands of the people, the, the people that build these instruments, and we've looked into their eyes, and you know, you see the pictures of their family in their workspaces and stuff like that, and it really kind of brings everything together and makes it more than just guitars and widgets and stuff like that. And that's what we're trying to, in this whole musical journey concept of trying to get a different frame of mind, I guess, um, than what maybe is typical these days. You know, guitars, music instruments in general have somewhat become widgets. And how cheap can I get that widget? And how fast can I get that widget? And uh, I think we, we want to take a uh, step back and um, really start thinking about why we're all here and why we're doing what we're doing. Um, in our own experiences, again, we talk about the musical journey. You know, you're on a musical journey. Corey's on a journey. Yes. I'm on a journey. Larry, who's our videographer, is on a journey. We're all in different places, but we're all on that journey. Um, you know, think back to when we started our journeys. You know, for me, you know, I have really fond memories of being a kid and, you know, going to my first few concerts and, and really deciding that, that playing guitar is something that I wanted to do as often as I could. And, um, you know, hanging, going to the guitar lessons on Saturday mornings and hanging out in the guitar shop and talking to the cool guitar dudes. And um, it was fun and it was energizing and it was inspiring. And that's, that's, that's what we do. Absolutely. We, you know, we get caught up uh, as music instrument retailers in specifications for guitars. You know, what, what's it made of? What are the pickups? What's the measurement at the first and the twelfth fret? And, you know, we, we kind of lose the human aspect of guitars. And it has always been um, an emotional uh, and very visceral thing for most musicians. That's why we get into playing music yeah. and into playing guitars, because we love it so much. We have a, a visceral reaction to music that causes us to want to work on that instrument until we can deliver the same reaction to, to someone else. Uh, so it's really nice to uh, get to the factories uh, speak to the people that are building it because they've gotten into building the guitars for the same reason that we've gotten into selling the guitars, yeah. which is, you know, you want to deliver that musical experience that you've had to other people. You right. want to bring it out to the world because it made you feel good, right. you know, and, and sometimes it made you feel something. Um, you know, it, it may have been anger, it may have been rage, you know. I know when I was a young man, uh, when I first started playing, it was all about uh, wanting to feel the, the ability to scream into the air. You know, I was in the middle of a cornfield in Indiana and, uh, you know, didn't have much else to do besides, you know, yell at the cornfields. And uh, so music was my outlet to, to be able to communicate with a, a broader uh, group of people than I would have been able to. Uh, just living in the corner. That's, I mean, that speaks to just the power of music. Um, you think about 
what music means to different people. Yes. And for some people who aren't musicians, you know, it still has a, a very deep place uh, in a lot of people's hearts. You know, music has helped people heal, um, not feel alone. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different really heavy feelings that, that go into music, whether you're listening to music or playing music or both. And I, I don't take that lightly. Yeah. And um, you know, we just we we want to be part of that process, um, part of your musical journey, and not just in this moment, but in every moment. You know, we want to celebrate those victories with you. We want to support you. We want to uh, push you to do more. You know, that kind of thing. Those those are the things that that helped us up in our playing careers or whatever you want to call Absolutely. it. You know? So we, it's now our responsibility to be those people, the cheerleader. Most certainly, you know, we, uh, we talk a whole lot about, yeah, we want to sell you a guitar, you, you know, but bottom line, we want to, we, we want to sell, sell guitar. We're in the business we, of selling guitars, but, but there's more, more to it. But more importantly, we want to develop a relationship. Uh, we want to, like Rob said, be a part of that musical journey. Um, that's that's so vital to to what we do and and humanizing these guitars um, for us reminding ourselves that there are humans behind these yeah. guitars it's yeah. not just a, a new model that gets rolled out you know it's hours of people uh, having a relationship based around the creation of something that is going to propel somebody on their musical journey. And that's why it's so important to us to make sure that we're spending the time with you to help you make the right decision and to get the right instrument. Um, and it's, you know, we've all, we all have new guitar day, Yes. Uh, you know, ourselves too. And we know how important that is and how exciting that is and how exciting that should be for you. And, you know, when, when new guitar day doesn't go like we planned, we're just as disappointed as you are. And unfortunately that happens every once in a blue moon, out of our control sometimes. But you know, New Guitar Day doesn't, isn't the fun day it should be. And, and we will do everything we can to turn that around and, and make that right. But it's, it's the key is that it's important to us to, to get that, get it right the first time. Yeah, we want, we want you to love the instrument yeah. that you're getting. We don't want you to settle. Uh, we don't want you to pick a guitar out uh, just on specifications alone or wood selection. We want you to have a connection with that, with that instrument. Yeah, the right, when you get the right instrument, it inspires you to play more. It does, and it does. And when you play more, you get better and you, you, further along, you get further along in your journey. Yeah, fortunately for us, uh, different in instruments uh, elicit different playing uh, I know out of myself and I found that to be true of most musicians that I work with uh, they they play different on a, a different style instrument whether uh, you know, in the case of PRS, whether that's a Silver Sky, uh, their, their playing is going to, to be different than if they're playing a McCarty 594. Yeah. yeah, and that's why guitar players tend to have many guitars, because there's not one guitar that, that fits every occasion and every mood. There's different guitars elicit different thoughts and, and inspirations. and. The more you have, the more creative you can you can be. Absolutely, and there's all kinds of analogies that you could uh, present with that. You know, it's uh, like an artist doesn't uh, paint with one color typically. Right. You know, sometimes they do, and that's okay, and, and we we should be all right with that. Yeah. But uh, most of the time, they have multiple colors in in their palette. Uh, and that's where we come in. That's where our years in the industry and going to the factories and having deep intellectual conversations about these guitars uh, with the people that build them uh, gives us a perspective on um, maybe helping guide you towards the, the right color for your, for your color palette. Yeah, and you know, we have, you know, we think about our staff here you, me, Ed, everybody here, everybody brings a lot of experience um, to, the, to the table from performing, from playing, um, from being in this business. And you know, we, we have a lot to offer in that aspect. And 
um, again, that's why it's so important for us to, to spend the time to make sure that, that we, get, we get it right for you. Absolutely. We're ready to connect. So going back to our visit to PRS, they had a, this was the first dealer event since COVID. So it's been about three years since we've gone out and, and seen anybody. Um, and it wasn't really an event. It was, just, it was just a let's get together and talk about guitars and listen to some great music for a day. And it was a lot of fun. We got to do all of that. We got to play some uh, um, different and interesting models than we've seen before. We got to mess with pedals. We got to mess with amplifiers. And there's some great stuff coming from Paul Reed Smith that we can't, Paul said, if we tell you now, he'll kill us. Yes. So yes. we can't say anything yes. about it yet, but yes. just know that there's some cool stuff coming. And if we die immediately afterwards, he said he would create a time machine to come back and And, and get if it. there's anybody that could create a, t a working time machine, I would, I would put man, my money on Paul yes, Reed Smith. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was a great day. It was a great day to connect with other dealers, uh, to get energized, uh, not only about Paul Reed Smith products, uh, but our role in, in this industry. One of the things that blew me away, and I know it did you too, is that in, a, in one day, how many times did we get approached by other dealers and Paul Reed Smith uh, employees? Hey, you, you're the guys from More Music and More Guitars. We, we follow your, you know, out we the more door emails and daily arrivals and yeah. dealers asking us, you know, hey, how do you guys do this? And, we tend to get we tend to get lost in the day to day, you know. I, I show up uh, when I show up in, in the building. Uh, it's usually head down. I have yeah, right I have tasks in front of me, and and you get to work, and you don't realize uh, the reach that uh, a really wonderful team like uh, we're a part of. Uh, has until you go to something like that and other industry professionals say, hey, we see you. Yeah. We see you out there. Yeah. You know, keep doing what you're doing because we see you. And how can I do some of that? Yes. <laughs> yes. But we're just so fortunate to uh, even be in this industry, you know, yeah. such a, a small percentage of people uh, play, play music uh, for other people or have been given the opportunity and an even smaller um, uh, segment of that population get to make their living in the music industry and we're just really fortunate and grateful uh, to be a part of this wonderful wonderful in industry. After everyone you know it's it's inevitable it doesn't matter who you are or where you work you could be at your dream job and still have a bad day Yep. and I have to that's how I get myself out of those bad days you know it's like Wait a minute. What am I? How bad where, can it be? How can it be? <laughs> yeah. How you bad know? can it be? You're working in a guitar shop, surrounded shot. by guitars and guitar players. I'm with my people. You absolutely. Know? So that gets me out of it pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we want to be here for your journey. You just give us a call here at More Music in Evansville, Indiana, or hit us up on the web. There are all kinds of ways to get a hold of us. MoreGuitars.com. Uh, visit us on our YouTube page, follow us on Facebook, all of that stuff. It's because of great people like you that we get to take part in an industry that we're very passionate and very fortunate to be a part of. Thank you very much. We're accessible. If you want to talk to Corey specifically, just ask. We'll put you on the phone with him. If you want to talk to me, you want to talk to Ed, uh, we're here every day and we're uh, waiting for your phone call. Thanks so much.